under Costa Rica's sunny skies, in a pastel-colored office space northwest of the capital San Jose. Employees are beavering away in their cubicles, answering calls and providing tech support for customers. They work for a little-known outsourcing firm called Sykes. Most people have never heard of the company, even though it's now part of Cytel Group, one of the world's largest call center providers. According to LinkedIn profiles, its staff have done contract work for companies that are instantly recognizable, such as Amazon and Cisco, to name two. Working as a Sykes customer support employee requires access to data of the contracting company's big-name clients. That access, it turns out, is very attractive to hackers. So it was in January, when an enigmatic hacker collective called Lampsus managed to get hold of an account belonging to a Costa Rica-based Sykes employee who happened to be providing customer service to users of Okta, one of the biggest providers of single sign-on software, which lets customers us. It's supposed to offer tighter security. But as the Sykes hack showed, there are ways for cyber criminals to get to Okta customers' data without directly targeting Okta. With the compromised Sykes account, the hackers managed to snoop on to 5% of Okta's customers, which appeared to include $30 billion web security provider Cloudflare and 365 others. Hackers had the ability to reset passwords and scoop up customer information. Sykes confirmed to Forbes that parts of its network were hacked in January, claiming it didn't believe any serious breach had occurred and there was no longer a risk for its corporate customers, or for the customers of its customers. Okta later said that the breach lasted five days and allowed the hackers to reset passwords and those one-time codes. Asked if any other customers were hit in the January breach at Sykes, a Cytel spokesperson said, We are unable to comment on our relationship with any specific brands or the nature of the services we provide for our clients. Okta's chief security officer, David Bradbury, said in a webinar Wednesday. He admitted, however, that Okta received a summary report last week about the hack, and that the company should have moved quicker to act on those initial findings.